Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you, and today is my weekly trade predictions for the upcoming trading week of September 20th through September 24th, 2021. Okay, and what I'll do here is I will look at all the major forex currency pairs, just like I always do, on a 30 minute time frame. Okay, just like you see right here that I got pulled up on the chart. Okay, and then we're going to compare these time frames to higher time frames. Okay, such as the four hour daily and weekly charts. Okay. And then, based on my experience, I will try to give you my analysis of what I think is going to happen this coming week, right? So, um, this past week, we saw mostly major markets, but the U.S. dollar did spike up towards the end of the week. And that was due to a uh, retail sales being higher than was expected, projected, right? So, with the retail sales going up, that means there are more people shopping, Okay, more people in the economy spend the money, which is a good sign for the U.S. dollar. Now, this might be because uh, people are trying to get a head start on Christmas season because there's projected to be a delay in orders, uh, you know, shipments coming from China. Okay, and there's also uh, a lot of new trade regulations and I don't want to say trade embargo, but a lot of restrictions coming from China. Okay. And China's kind of protesting, and they already said that there's going to be a lot of delays in shipments, right? So it's already been advised that if you want to get started on your Christmas shopping, do it right now. So I'm thinking, just me personally, I'm thinking that's the reason why we see in the retail sales spike up right now. We will see next month how the retail sales go for next month as well. But at least that's a good sign for the U.S. dollar right now. Um, even though the unemployment is not so good. So anyhow, with the U.S. dollar going up, though, it caused the Euro, Great British Pound, Australian dollar, all the other op opposite major currency pairs to drop. Okay, And we see that happen right here with Euro USD that I have pulled up on the screen. Okay, Now, we see, like I said, mostly a range of market, but towards the end of the week, it did drop off, and the price ended lower than where it began. So it's not necessarily a downtrend but yes it's a slight downtrend okay um, so we do want this year USD to, move, to be headed down long term because that is the overall direction where it should be going long term anyways now if we look at the four hour chart four hour chart we see that it has been going down okay now we hit a strong support but this is a very very fresh signal and I have a strong feeling it's probably going to drop even more if you look at the daily chart okay the daily chart shows to go up okay like I've said in, in the previous videos okay just because we have a blue arrow here does not necessarily mean we're going to have another red arrow we could have another blue arrow even lower okay it's very possible if we zoom out a little bit we can see such a thing happening okay um, I'm trying to see. Yeah, here we had a blue arrow followed by a lower blue arrow. So we got the same thing happen here. I know a blue arrow followed by a lower. And the reason I say this, if I go back here and show you, if you look at the weekly chart, this is the big kicker. Okay, if you look at the weekly, it's going to give you a true analysis of where the price is really headed. Okay, and here with the weekly chart, we have a down arrow and no blue arrow. We have hit kind of a strong support level here. And if we mark that right here. Um, we see this is a strong support resistance zone. Okay. And then if we drop back down to a smaller time frame, like the four hour, okay, we see that this is where I just marked that horizontal line for that support. Okay. And then this is why I say the price will most likely probably drop even more and we could probably see this uh, blue arrow repaint I don't know okay but it is very very possible for that to happen okay so if you look at the one hour chart it shows the buy which it's already it hasn't repainted so that's a good sign and the 30 minute shows to go up so what I project happened this week is like, okay, this past week we saw mostly a range of market like I showed you. So this week we're going to see a continuation of that with a slight downtrend, okay? I think the price will end lower than where it began. 
and we're going to see a lot of ups and downs okay so basically a repeat of what we just saw this past week okay and that's okay that's good because um you get a lot of good buy and sell opportunities now look at this right here. we had a blue arrow followed by a lower blue arrow okay i guess again it can happen on any time frame really if we zoom out a little bit we see that for the most part we had good buy and sell opportunities but right here we can see we're clearly going to a downtrend is is the reason why this happened okay why you had a blue arrow followed by a lower because we're in a strong downtrend okay so even if I go to the one hour chart I get a little bit better synopsis see here you have a strong uptrend which is good okay if you were to, if you were to buy here and close the trade at the next red arrow you have a huge profit okay and the same thing here okay and you know it's definitely going down if you were to look at the four hour chart and were to do the same here you know place a sell trade and close it there you'd have a huge profit as well only problem with that is you'd have a lot of swap fees along the way that's why i try to tend to recommend to stick with the 30 minute chart for you know day-to-day -day trading okay now obviously there's a little bit of a problem right here but if you look at the four hour chart at that point well actually let me go back to the 30 minute i'm going to mark this right here just to give you a good reference okay we mark that point there and i go to the four hour we can see there was no blue arrow at that point we're still in a downtrend so you could technically match up with the four hour okay but you know it's no easy way to do it now the thing is this definitely going to be going back up even if you have a trade place now and it's negative just wait for a while okay wait for it to go back up because we're at a pretty strong support and what i think is going to happen is we're going to see the price rise back up okay i don't know how high because the, you know, the four hour shows the buy everything's showing the buy right now for the short term so as far as it hitting this green line that might ha may not happen until next week okay so we can expect the price to be going back up and then probably by next week come back down i don't know okay i i would guess that the price would probably end lower than where it is now but you know could it is still in a downtrend technically but with the daily chart showing the buy okay there is a good chance that it will go up okay but the problem is the weekly shows to sell and that is the strongest signal overall okay and we're looking for this to hit that green line and even break maybe okay i don't think it's going to break that green line that support level anytime soon but it will probably happen come next month okay is what i'm i would most likely guess with that but we can definitely you know project for the price to be going up and down and probably overall be dropping more if we look right here i mark this resistance okay so we could expect the price to come up touch this trend line and drop back down even more okay that i feel very strongly that will happen and the thing is will it break if i mark this support right here okay will it break this support this week and drop more i don't know because it might drop a little bit more uh in the opening of this week so you could watch for this drop even more and repaint i don't know okay but what i do know is that the price will be going back up and touching this trend line okay sometime this week okay i'm i'm guessing probably the first half of the week we're going to see this jump up and touch this trend line somewhere in here and then drop back down and it'll probably end lower and then going into the next week we'll see it go up and down and drop even lower okay so what do you want to do for this week okay well you can keep your charts on a 30 minute time frame okay you can feel free to both buy and sell this week it's just right now is a very uh i would definitely wait until at least the london session on monday before placing any trades because this is a fairly fresh signal right here and like i said it could 
repaint and drop even more. So give it about five or six hours after the market open on Monday before you go placing any trades, okay? But yeah, you should be able to both buy and sell. If you want to be 100% safe, I would probably say sell only, okay? Because we're still technically in a downtrend. Until this this pink uh, resistance right here breaks, we're not going to be in an uptrend, okay? And that's going to take a while. It might take another month before you see an uptrend. I don't know. Now, moving on to GBP USD. Okay, we kind of see a very similar thing. Okay, the price was moving sideways, and then at, towards the end of the week, it dropped back down. And that's because of the US dollar spiked up towards the end of the week, which caused this one to drop as well. And that's okay. So, again, we want this one to drop long term. And the reason being, we look at the four hour chart we see that it is definitely one to drop now we're at a even though we don't have a blue arrow we're still at a pretty strong support level right here okay and if i raise this up slightly you see right here is a strong support level so we're already pretty much right there at it already now if i look at the daily chart okay the daily chart shows to go up okay so again um this should be going back up this week if you look at the weekly chart however it shows to go down and that is the strongest of the signals okay i'm not so concerned about the monthly because that's so far out it's going to take years for this to go up okay but the weekly uh was definitely a good gauge of what's going to happen here in the next few weeks or the next few months okay so we know probably in the next six months it's going to be dropping probably not a huge drop okay but it's going to drop more it's going to break that support it's going to drop more will it break that support this week i don't know i just i don't think it will but it's very possible because the four hour does not have a blue arrow okay and that's technically what we're looking for for this to form okay the one hour i know should show yes so if it breaks this green line and drops more where will it go it will probably definitely go to this point but probably lower which would be i see a support right here okay that's kind of a marker indicator i'm looking right here there's the price dropped right here and formed a support as well okay so it's very possible that it will drop it's not going to be a huge drop because we're already it's been dropping quite a bit and we're almost getting ready for a reversal right now so probably in the opening hours on monday you're going to see this price drop a little bit more but uh monday going to tuesday we definitely see this spike back up and then probably towards by the end of the week we'll see the price come back down again okay and potentially drop and hit the screen line on the support level somewhere in here so watch for the price to come back up and then go back down again and you know this is normal forex 101 right and just like we saw euro usd we have a blue arrow followed by a blue arrow on the 30 minute time frame okay so that means we're in a strong downtrend but typically when you have two arrows in a row of the same color the third or the next arrow will be the opposite color okay so the next arrow should be a red one okay no guarantee but you know based on historical data that should be the next color so that means this will be going up okay now this on the 30 minute chart right here you see is a very very fresh signal so we want to definitely wait until at least the london session on monday before we go place any trades to see what this will do i'm willing to bet any amount of money is going to drop a little bit more and this is going to repaint I just had that funny feeling so we can um you know definitely wait but you can buy and then close the trade when you get the next red arrow and just repeat that process okay very very simple um i don't expect any huge moves this week okay but we definitely can stand to gain some profit this week especially with the great british pound okay now moving on to uh australian dollar versus the u.s dollar 
okay so here we saw like almost like a nice steady downtrend okay and it started off with a range of market and just steadily dropped so this is what we're looking for something like this where we have a nice steady downtrend and if we know we're going to a downtrend we could focus on selling only okay but then again you know there's always going to be buy and sell opportunities like here we have a blue arrow followed by a lower and then the red, next red arrow is not that high so you would be at a loss okay unfortunately but then again if you look here on the four hour chart you see that we're already in a downtrend so if you look at the bigger time frames to see which way the price is going then you can trade on the smaller time frames like the 30 minute even 15 minute chart in the same direction as the larger time frame okay and that's what i've always stressed in all my training videos before so and that's what i also stress in my private one-on-one -on -one coaching so we need to um you know always be thinking about which way the price is going to be headed over the next few weeks the next few months okay and then we can try to trade on the smaller time frames day to day in that direction okay so if we know the price is going down we don't want to buy okay now right now i think the price is getting ready to reverse if we look at the four hour chart um we do not have a blue arrow yet okay but the daily chart shows to buy okay and the weekly chart shows to sell which is long term so and it's been dropping steadily anyways for the past few months right just that um you know we had this retracement and then shoot back down a little bit so look back at the daily chart what i think is going to happen is in the again in the opening up of this market this week on monday morning we should see the price drop even lower okay because technically we are still in a downtrend and then this we should, we'll see the price come back up we have a resistance right here if we do see a red arrow on the daily chart this would be the place for the red arrow to form okay i there's not gonna be there's no way the price is going to go shooting way back up here in this area impossible okay because it's such it's going to such a downtrend okay so we want to be looking to sell because like i said the price is going down now four hour chart shows that it's been dropping quite a bit already okay since the third of september we're already you know moving into the third week of september so pretty much all of september has been dropping okay we look at this blue arrow to this red arrow we're looking at from about the 20th of august all the way up here to the third of september so you're looking at a two-week span of time and then here it's already been two weeks okay so there's no blue arrow yet but just based on what has happened in the past we should be getting ready to see a reversal going back up okay which would make sense because the daily chart shows the buy and we're looking for the price to come back up and touch this now again that's all dependent upon the u.s dollar if the u.s dollar keeps gaining then the australian dollar or the great british pound or euro is they're going to keep losing okay the both cannot go up okay this is plain and simple but we don't know exactly what's going to happen we do we do see cycles and trends in the forex market right so i'm hoping that this will go back up and form another red arrow at least we know that would be a perfect time to sell okay and so for this week i think we'll be perfectly safe to both buy and sell because we should see the price going back up probably towards the middle of the week it will shoot back down again the very opening of the market on monday we'll probably see probably for the first five or six hours we'll probably see the price drop even more if you look at a 30 minute chart okay the price is not really going up is it so there's a very very good chance that this could repaint and drop even lower i don't know but i definitely feel that is that will probably happen it won't drop that much more but it might drop if you, you know 100 points or something and then 
we will see the price come back up a ways form a red arrow and then come back down again potentially the price will end lower than where it is now but no guarantee but we're definitely going to see a good range of market this week and probably going into the next week we'll see the price escalate up even more but the Australian dollar is a strong currency but just right now it's not you know doing very well so once we get that blue arrow on the four hour chart we're good to buy okay and we should be able to hold that for another week or two probably two weeks if we get a blue arrow you should be able to looking for about another two week span for this price to go back up and hopefully form a red arrow here both on the four hour and daily charts and that's what we're looking for okay so anyhow i'm just going to kind of give you an idea oops idea of what is going to happen this coming week or the next few weeks okay and we always got to look at the bigger time frames and look at the smaller time frames and then try to trade accordingly okay so yeah you probably i could say that the long-term trend is bearish it'll be dropping you can focus on selling only but now right now the price is getting ready to go back up again <clears throat> so there are good buy and sell opportunities both and right now it looks like it's getting ready to go back up so we, we probably will have some good uh buy opportunities anyhow okay now here look at this i'm gonna zoom out real quick see the price here you get red arrows three red arrows four red arrows in a row wow so that obviously was not a good time to sell was it but if you look here if i mark this and we go to the four hour chart we see that it was clearly an uptrend okay that's why i want to stress the importance of knowing the overall trend which way the price is headed okay so yeah if the four hour says to buy then you do not want to sell on the 30 minute time frame okay make sense all right now let's move on to us dollar versus swiss franc okay like i said this past thursday was when we had the retail sales uh, uh core value come out where all the data for the retail sales was released by the u.s government and we definitely saw an increase in retail spending okay so that's a very good sign for the u.s dollar and we definitely see this right here u.s dollar going up okay so uh what's going to happen now well we look like we hit a strong resistance and the price is probably going to come back down anything that goes up comes back down in forex and vice versa right so we had a nice uptrend here which is good and now i think it's going to be coming back down if you look at the four hour chart it shows the sell daily chart shows the sell voila wow so that's pretty awesome we have two red arrows in a row so this is a very very fresh signal to sell and that's why i always tell you that even though you get a signal to sell or buy doesn't always mean you're going to have the next the next signal would be the opposite okay you can always have a red arrow followed by a higher red arrow or a blue arrow followed by a lower blue arrow okay it's always possible and it doesn't necessarily matter the time frame weekly chart does not happen too often but it does happen okay now thing is here if you look at the weekly chart it shows to go up so we know the overall trend is bullish that it's going to be going up okay and that's what we want for the us dollar to happen anyhow so so what's going to happen this week okay right now the four hour chart shows to sell daily shows to sell so we've already hit some strong resistance so in the opening hours on monday on monday morning we will most likely see uh the price escalate up a little bit more okay i don't think it's quite over yet like i said this is all fresh signals so it definitely could go up some more and we can see this repaint but it will be going back down this week okay probably by monday going to tuesday by the end of monday going to tuesday we'll see this finally start to drop okay and I definitely probably by the new york session on monday we'll start to see this begin to drop and then that'd be a, a good time to sell anyhow okay so definitely wait until at least the new york session just to see what happens here okay i don't want you rushing to place a sell trade but once you get that sell trade placed in a 30 minute even one hour chart 
you could place that sell trade and just hold it until you get the next opposite uh, arrow which is blue okay the next blue arrow and close that trade and that might take a couple of days we don't know but that's fine okay you won't have too many swap fees occurred along the way if you follow this procedure and just know that you know getting ready to go back into a downtrend okay we have a brief downtrend here and then a bigger uptrend now we're going to go probably probably repeat the same process okay we'll have a brief downtrend and then another long uptrend coming here in the next you know three or four weeks okay we're already in the middle going to the third week of September so we got you know another week left in the month after this so we're already passing the middle of the month so going into October we will see the price go back up again okay probably for the next two weeks we should see the price drop back down and again starting on October depending on the non-farm payroll we should see the price escalate back up again okay so that's just pretty much just how Forex works overall in general the thing here is we've got a daily chart with two red arrows hopefully with the next arrow will be a blue arrow I don't know that's what we're looking for and if it takes if the price is going to be dropping for the next two weeks like I just said then that will be perfect timing okay the price would drop back down somewhere in here and form a blue arrow okay and then we should see the price go back up it doesn't have to drop all the way down to this level it could drop somewhere in here and form a blue arrow okay which is probably what will happen so anyhow let's move on to USD JPY okay now with US dollar versus Japanese yen, we see a little bit different story story but we do see the price spiked up towards the end of the week and um, look here look at the price was definitely dropping we're gonna be seeing it going to a downtrend but then it spiked back up so the price technically ended like exactly where it began but that's okay uh, we have some good really good buy and sell opportunities okay and again we just never know okay especially this USD JPY is kind of a once a risky period of trade but you see the four-hour chart was going up so if you had if you were going to buy only of the 30-minute chart you would have been in good shape right if the four-hour chart shows the buy now the problem is there's no red arrow right now okay but we, it, we are at a fairly strong level of resistance and we'll probably see the price begin to drop you know beginning of the week probably the first half of the week if you look at the daily chart it shows the sell and weekly chart shows the buy which has been shown for a very long time I'm not overly concerned about the weekly chart for this particular pair because this is so far out but it is uh, you know definitely going up long term right now if we look at the daily chart the daily chart has two red arrows and it's never really dropped okay so it is definitely strong on the bullish side but overall we can see it's been just riding the sideways meaning we get a lot of good buy and sell opportunities on the smaller time frames okay so if we look in the four hour chart it shows to go up but you know if we look at the past we just look in the past we had up and a lot of ups and downs before we finally got a red arrow so we're probably going to do the same thing here we're going to have a lot of ups and downs before we get a, another red arrow which could take a couple more weeks so if we keep a charts on a 30 minute time frame you should be able to save you should be safe to both buy and sell you know on using a 30 minute time frame even one hour time frame but 30 minutes is probably better option okay looking at 30 minute time frame it's already showing you to sell okay I like since this is a US dollar here we're talking about I would always recommend waiting until at least the New York session on Monday okay you can do the London session but New York session would be better option to see what the US dollar is doing by that time we have enough data build up and then you could place your sell trade at that point okay and then close it when you get the next blue arrow okay and then just repeat that process so what's going to happen this week is i feel very strongly there's going to be mostly a range of market probably with a slight uptrend because the four hour chart still shows to buy so we can see that the price shoot back down in the beginning of the week and then by the end of the week we see the price go back up again 
and potentially the price is going to end higher than where it is now okay not too much but I think the price is going to dip back down and then shoot back up okay so definitely have some good buy and sell opportunities this week and right now it's showing the sell so you're good for that right moving on to US dollar versus the Canadian dollar okay now this one is always very different because the Canadian dollar and the US dollar are both in North America they both uh, use a lot of oil for their industry right so the both both economies are very similar and we see the US dollar and Canadian dollar always in gridlock a lot so here we definitely see a good range of market okay good buy and sell opportunities and this is perfect setup right here to buy and sell you just need to stay focused okay you need to be able to check this every few hours to see what's going on okay make sure you set a stopwatch or a reminder on your cell phone to check this every few hours but every three or four hours is fine but once you place a trade close it on the next arrow now right now it shows to sell as you can clearly see right so it looks like a good time to sell um if you look at the four hour chart it shows sell daily chart shows to sell and weekly chart shows to buy so we know long term is price is going to go up if we mark this support right here okay that is our support going up in the uptrend if we go back down to the four hour chart we see that support line right there so potentially that's where we're looking for the price to drop and hit that support okay so you see right here it's been kind of riding sideways but we want that price to drop and hit that support so what's going to happen this week well i feel very strongly the price is definitely going to drop this week okay one hour chart shows two red arrows in a row so now it's definitely getting ready to drop wait until the newer session place your sell trade okay close it on the next opposite blue arrow you can use 30 minute or you can use the one hour chart 30 minutes should be perfectly fine um you know said, wait until the new york session place your trade close it on the blue arrow and then repeat that process okay i'm thinking the price is going to drop all the way down to this support line but no no guarantee what could happen is the price is going to drop a ways go back up and then drop some more and eventually hit that support line and probably would be next week when that happens okay because that's quite a bit of a drop if you look right here if i get the crosshairs coming down that's 2400 points that's a huge drop and there's no way that's going to happen in a single week so yeah we're going to see the price dip back down go back up and then probably by the end of the month we should see the price touch this support and then going into october we should see the price escalate back up which is basically what i said before right so all this kind of goes together um, not every currency pair is going to behave and act the same but we can see what the u.s dollar is doing overall right and the u.s dollar is always the biggest player in the whole forex market okay and it's just unfortunately it's just how things are right the u.s dollar is always the king right so anyhow um if you have any questions at all about these trade predictions or if you have any other currency pair that you want me to analyze feel free to hit me up on facebook i'll put a link below in the description of this video for my personal facebook okay i have a lot of people contact me there but just contact me be patient and i will get back to you as fast as possible also i put a link for my private facebook group okay and you can request to join my facebook group and post any questions or comments in my facebook group okay so with that said i hope you have a wonderful week ahead just uh let me know how i can help you and i would do my very best okay thank you so much